this is this question without the clues. I'm still going to take the same three steps though. So step one, I'm going to find the slope of the given line. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I have this line here and I'm going to find the slope of that. So what I have is 3x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Again, if you want to use the minus a over b formula, maybe you could just look at this and say the slope of this is negative 3 over 2. I'm going to do it the slower way, just have practice about rewriting this. So when I look at this, I, I don't like the 3x and the negative 4 there. I take 3x and add 4 to both sides. I don't like that it's 2y, so I divide everything by 2. And then I just read off that what the slope is. So the slope here is negative 3 over 2 is the coefficient of the x. Okay. Step 2, the same as last time. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to write what the perpendicular slope is because this question here mentions perpendicular. So I could write it like this. The given one is negative 3 over 2. So a perpendicular slope to that is going to be? 2 over 3. 2 over 3. And now I'm ready for the, the other part of the question. The question was find the equation of the line. So this is step three. Sir, would you move the negative sign for negative three? Where is this now? For the perpendicular slope. Yeah, so, so the rule to, to get from here to here, the rule and to get one side to the other side, what you do is you flip the fraction and change the sign. So the, the whole sign on the left hand side was negative 3 over 2 and that turns to positive 2 over 3. Okay. Does that, so it's called a negative reciprocal. That reciprocal means you flip the fraction and negative means it's going to be the opposite sign. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's what we're learning about perpendicular slope. So then the next step was the equation. So again, as soon as it says equation, I'm going to write down the formula for the equation of the line. So the equation is y minus y1 is equal to m at x minus x1. Into this rule, I'm interested in two things. A point, which was given to us, is the point negative 2, 1, that's your x1, y1, and the slope, I'm just using m. And this time, which slope am I using? Is it the negative 3 over 2, or is it the 2 over 3? 2 over 3? The 2 over 3, because this, this one is perpendicular. So that's the information I'm going to put into this line. So now I have y minus y1, which is minus 1, is equal to m, which is 2 over 3. The x minus x1, which is uh, minus 1, and uh, minus, minus 2, which is minus negative 2, which is going to be positive 2. I'm just going to multiply by the, bring this across, I'm going to multiply by the, two thirds on the left hand side just to give me a bit of space here i'm doing this so if that's true it follows that y minus one is equal to two over three times x and when i multiply um two over three by two i'm getting plus four over three okay and the last step then is i i don't like this negative one here so I'm going to add one to both sides. Again, get the calculator to help you with this if you're not sure. So one is uh, three thirds. I'm adding three thirds to four thirds. I'm going to get seven thirds. So y is equal to two over three x plus seven thirds. And that's the answer in what I call the <coughs> slope intercept way. If you wanted the answer in the other way, what I would do is I would end up multiplying everything by three getting 3y is equal to 2x plus 7, and then taking that 3y from both sides. So just I'm just going to write it. One answer is fine, but I'm just putting the other answer up here. The other answer will be 2x minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0, if you wanted it written in the other format.